This is the big DNA foldable by Tang Star Science. Big in this case means three pieces of paper that when cut along the seams and taped create a foldable that fits neatly into a binder without impeding the binder rings. Now if you want to use this for an interactive notebook, just cut along the dash lines to create a smaller foldable. I've given you five different options for this particular foldable and the one that you see before you is the most comprehensive. Each of the three panels focuses on something different, so let's take a quick tour now. The center panel contains a close-up uh, diagram of the two strands of DNA as they are paired together. On the two outer edges, which you'll see is, are the sugar phosphate backbones, with one of them shown in anti-parallel orientation the way it would be in real life. Some diagrams show them both in the same direction, which would be incorrect. In the center, what you'll see is the nitrogenous bases, complementary base pairing, and I've given all the different potential combinations, guanine to cytosine, cytosine to guanine, adenine to thymine, and thymine to adenine. Also highlighted are the number of hydrogen bonds between each, so there's three there, three there, two there, and two there. And of course, this is great for coloring. On the left side, what you'll notice is that I've highlighted the differences between the DNA nucleotide and the RNA nucleotide. Often the RNA nucleotide is taught separately, but when you show them together, you can help highlight the important differences between DNA and RNA. And because they are so similar, it'll help them uh, learn RNA a little bit better as well. And on the side, I've also mentioned the different type of nitrogenous bases that fit with each type of nucleotide. On the bottom right here, I've added two sections, one that show the students the difference between purines and pyrimidines, and then they can label them there. On the last panel, what you'll see is you'll see a 3D version of the double helix shown right there. Students can choose to color that or not. I've highlighted the major group and minor group if you'd like to talk about that. And in addition, I've also provided boxes that are numbered in order, which I think that would make sense for learning this lesson in order, in sequence. And this particular one has each box labeled, so sugar phosphate backbone, complementary nitrogenous bases, etc. Now, I also provide options that don't contain any labels, so you can choose your own labeling and no numbers as well. And I also provide an option where it's only the diagrams without the boxes, so you can choose what would fit your class. Now, when this is done, it's a great graphic organ for your students to help them before uh, to help them with test prep before any tests, exams or quizzes.